Welcome everyone. Today we want to look at mountains. What is a mountain? Something we want to understand. So the question is, what is a mountain? Uh, geographically we are saying a mountain uh, is a natural elevation of the earth's surface rising more or less abruptly to a summit and attaining an altitude greater than that of a hill, usually greater than 2,000 feet above the sea level. A mountain is generally steeper than a hill. Mountains are formed through tectonic forces and volcanism, as we shall see. The forces can locally raise the surface of the earth. Mountains are eroded uh, due to the process of denudation by weather conditions, rivers, and glaciers, as we shall see. As we have seen, uh, the raise over 2,000 feet above with a slope greater than 2 degrees. Mountains are formed from different kind of processes. Uh, for example, here you have what we call the volcan kind of mountains, where we see magma raising uh, from the interior of the earth crust to the surface of the earth crust, uh, where we see different uh, layers of lava solidifying, forming. Uh, this is where we see successive layers being solidified and then forming a mountain. Also, what we call a doom kind of mountain. This is formed where pressure exerted onto the earth crust due to the magma beneath uh, forces the layers on the earth crust to raise up forming a dome which later forms what we call a dome kind of mountain then we have what we call also the block mountains these are formed due to the process of faulting uh, where we see different frail forces uh, force the plates to move different kind of direction for example right here we see uh, tension forces pulling the plates in different kind of direction hence forming what we call a hosty mountain uh, raising up hence forming a host mountain in the world the highest mountain that we know of is Mount Everest and uh, it goes beyond actually it is 29,029 feet above sea level and this is formed due to the folding kind of process uh, for the mountains are formed due to the compression of force which forces the plates together squeezing them together forming what we call the anticlines and the cyclines uh, in the bow kind of shape forming a Ford guard mountain uh, an example is what we have now talked about as Mount Everest which was formed over uh, 25 million years ago sometime back uh, let's look at the let's look at the number of mountains we have across the world one we have what we call the Rocky Mountains Sierra Nevada, uh, we have the Appalachian Mountains, we have the Edens, we have the Transatlantica Range, we have the Atlas Mountains, we have the Ethiopian Highlands, uh, we have what we call the Drunkensberg in South Africa, we have what we call the Alps, uh, that is Europe, we have what we call the Urals, and then we have the Himalayas in India, we have the Zangro Mountains, uh, we also have what we call the Great Dividing Range, that is Australia. Let's look at the top seven highest mountains in the world. Number one, definitely, we have Mount Everest, and then we have Mount Akakwa, and then we have Mount Macrinel, that's North America, and then we have Mount Kilimanjaro in East Africa, and then we have Vinso Masafi, and then we also have uh, Mount Arubras, uh, that is in Asia. We have Mount Kasaku, that is in Australia. Thank you for watching uh, Tower Academic. Uh, like, share, comment, and above all, subscribe for more. Thank you very much. See you next time.